everyone and welcome back at FUBU Monthly YouTube video. We received your positive feedback on our last X-ray video and therefore we are here again for you. Today we will talk about Zeeman effect. Did you know that Peter Zeeman received the second Nobel Prize in Physics for his discovery in 1902? Nowadays, together with Millikan and Frank Hertz experiments, Zeeman effect belong to the core topics in quantum physics. You can find Zeeman effect as a required study subject in every physics university curricula worldwide. With our experimental system, you will be able to generate and absorb Zeeman effect. And now my colleague will show you how. Hello everybody. Now let us have a look at the experimental setup. The Zeeman effect is about splitting up the energy states of electrons in an external magnetic field and making the energy states visible. You need only one experimental setup to show all phenomena of the Zeeman effect. You can show the following. Firstly, the normal and anomalous Zeeman effect. Secondly, the transversal and longitudinal Zeeman effect. Also, the influence of the magnetic field on polarization. And you can also determine Bohr's magneton, which is a fundamental physical constant. Now, let's have a look at the components of the setup. Let's start with the magnet. For splitting up the energy states, you need a very strong magnet. Then, for making the energy states visible, you need a vapor discharge lamp, which is here. We use a multi-purpose cadmium vapor discharge lamp. The core of the optical system is a Fabry Perot interferometer. It has the advantage that it has filters for both the normal, which is here, and the anomalous Zeeman effect. The optical system. It includes also a polarizer, which is here, so that you can analyze polarization of the spectral lines. Last but not least, you have a USB lamp with camera, which is the most convenient way to visualize the energy states. It's also perfect to determine the Bohr magneton precisely, because with the software it is very easy to measure the distance and width of the spectral lines. Here is the setup of the normal Zeeman effect. We will now split one spectral line into three spectral lines. To do that, we insert the lamp into the magnetic field by sliding it inside. Now you see three spectral lines. We can now further optimize the separation of the three lines by increasing the magnetic field strength. We do this by decreasing the distance between the pole shoes. We just turn the spindle knob to do that. Now we will study the difference between the transversal Zeeman effect and the longitudinal Zeeman effect. All we have to do is turn the magnet with the lamp by 90 degrees. Now you see two spectral lines. So far I've shown you the normal Zeeman effect. Now we simply change a little bit to realize the anomalous Zeeman effect. We rearrange the magnet and replace the red filter with a blue filter. And now you can see up to nine spectral lines. So far you have seen all the experiments with the permanent magnet, but we also have an electromagnet with which you can run the same experiments. Using this power supply with which you can change the settings by changing the voltage. One of the best things about FUVE is that for all the experiments you have detailed experimental literature, either in paper form or you can download the PDFs from our website. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you like the topic of today. With further questions, please contact directly your FUVA sales partner. More information about Zeeman Effect and our products you always can find at www.fuva.com. 
Please do not forget to give us feedback about this video. We look forward hearing from you. Bye-bye.